Hey there, hi there, ho there, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Welcome back. I'm doing another uh, chibi thing because I am in the mood to draw Spongebob the musical and no one can stop me. <laughs> uh, so be prepared for me to ramble about how good this musical is because it's the best musical. Okay, that's subjective, but it is a really good musical and if you just want to enjoy something and have fun, I would 100% recommend it. And there's a television version, so you could watch it, like, any time. It's short, it's cut out, it cuts out some really good points, or like, good moments, but it got me into the show and it hasn't let go. So, <laughs> I, was, I originally watched it around December because it was like popping up in my YouTube feed and I was like, well, I need something to listen to slash watch while I'm working on Tiny Tim. Tiny Box Tim. I was working on a patch because I got like an embroidery thing and um, I could not tear my eyes away so I ended up doing like nothing for that patch instead I just watched Spongebob the musical all night. It was 100% worth it. I don't regret any of it. And like I couldn't stop watching it. It was really great and man I really hope you can't hear that. I have to, I have to do this during the daytime so I have time to actually edit tonight. <laughs> Um, but it's fine. This is fine. So I went down the I went down the wrapped hole of SpongeBob, and like I've talked about it, and people who haven't heard of it like always give me these looks of like SpongeBob, really? And it's like okay, yeah, SpongeBob. It reminded me of how good this show is. And it reminded me that Spongebob entirely ruined my sense of humor. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. But <laughs> my sense of humor is like super, super like changed because of Spongebob. Like just, I grew up on this show. It's dumb. It's stupid. But it's fun. And I've been rewatching the first three seasons because it's on Amazon Prime. I might as well watch it because I have also bought Spongebob the Musical on Amazon Prime because I wanted to rewatch it and I wanted to give some kind of support and I've watched it a lot. If you saw, like, if you read any of my descriptions on one of my videos, I believe, I think it's I Guess I Miss You, I'm not entirely sure, but I had ended up watching the musical four times on repeat because it was just in the background and it worked as like really good background noise. I like there's very few things that that happens for me and like I don't get tired of it. <laughs> so I have watched this TV version so many times. So many times. And the first time I watched it, I got really sucked into Best Day or yeah, I got sucked into Best Day Ever. I got really sucked into just a simple sponge. That one is my favorite song in the entire show. It's written by Brandon Urie of Panic at the Disco, and it's just so good. And then by the time Best Day Ever rolled around, I like started tearing up and crying. Like it was, it was such a good show. And every time I watch it, I'm like, oh no, we're already here. Like it just goes by so fast. It's a two hour show on like for the TV version and it's about two and a half hours for the full Broadway version. And I can't like, I can't look away. I can now, but like I end up still singing along when I'm working on stuff. So I also decided that because I've watched it so many times, I was already planning on doing a SpongeBob cosplay because it's a lot of fun. His design's really cute and simple and I like have most of the stuff I just need to make pants and I need to add a red line to my suspenders but I found a pair that has the stripe that I wanted. I have like so many suspenders now. Oh my gosh I have plans for other cosplays. It's great. But I have like I ended up getting a spatula from the dollar store. My friend got me a butterfly net that I was, I'm gonna use as my jellyfishing net. I gotta repaint it. I have a couple of like random little doodads that is really exciting. I still need to get some bubbles and I want to get like a fake rope to attach to a backpack so I can look a little bit like that, like very specifically the movie or the, uh, the musical. <laughs> uh, so Unis Honest also has a challenge this month to practice something every day the entire month and upload it at the end of the month. 
So, my thing, because I am obsessed with the show and I love it, and Bikini Bottom Day is my third favorite song, I have spent the last five days practicing Bikini Bottom Day, and I do want to see if I can get further along into the show, or at least do certain specific parts. I know just a simple sponge by heart, and like all the stuff that he does. I know I want to do Chop to the Top, because there's a lot of really fun stuff that he does in that part too. And like some of the little things I need to work on actually being more active and stuff. And Bikini Bottom Day just makes me so exhausted, but it's so fun. I know the I will always swear and pledge allegiance to this town that we hold dear. Um, I know that part. I've been working on the pop and lock because that's so cool. It's so great. The downside is I have to watch the movie ver- or the TV version because it's not on the album, which sucks. But <laughs> please release a full version of the Spongebob musical album soundtrack because I really, really love the reprise after the intermission. Anyway, so I gotta, I gotta keep on moving because I think I'm already pretty far, yeah. I also found out that they were touring by the time that I got into it and I was super duper insanely lucky because I found out that they were gonna be in my state on my birthday doing a show. So I got to see them on my birthday live, which was awesome and amazing. And it was so hard not to fidget and dance along and sing along because I do that at home. But I was like, I can't do that. It was, it was great. It was the most exciting thing. I wore a a yellow sweatshirt and um, I got a t-shirt that says like the the Krabby Patty thing because I got it from Target and it's great. I was so excited, and it was such a good show. I, like, if you can go see them, please go see them. I know tickets are going to be, like, crazy expensive, but it's really good. It's a fun show, and I loved it even more live. Like, the I'm Not a Loser is even better live. The only downside is they didn't have, like, the thing that comes down from the top, where it's, like, the super duper, like, classic, like, when you think Broadway, I'm Not a Loser is the one so (laughs) yeah i watch it when i'm sad and it really helps me feel like a lot better about me and my life and i've watched it so many times i know it's like little things and i would go into detail about all the little things i've noticed but that's a lot of little things i like started taking notes on that because i was like oh oh he does that oh that's so cute one of my favorites One of my favorites, I think the first thing that I had noticed, like, little thing, was Old Man Jenkins' glasses break during Tomorrow Is, or right before Tomorrow Is starts, when the boulders start hitting, that's when he breaks his glasses. You can actually still see the piece in the middle of the stage, um, if you're watching very closely. I only noticed this because I noticed that his glasses are really, really janky when he starts talking to Mrs. Puff and then he takes them on, off, and pockets them. It's like, it's a really small thing, and I only noticed because I was like, I've watched it that many times. So, like, I don't know. My favorite stuff is like, I just, I love I'm Not a Loser. It was originally not my favorite, but it just grew on me. Oh, and Patrick's Superstar, Super Sea Star Savior. When it gets to the tambourine scene, the foley guy starts doing the dance with them and it's so cute like i love watching the foley guy i love watching like i like i love watching every single character and just focusing on each character throughout the entire show to see what they do like (laughs) the neon fish she's the only one i care that old man jenkins is dead and then she has like a freak out when he comes back (laughs) so yeah it's great it's so good like I have this whole theory too that this 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 musical sets up the original movie. All right? Because it talks about how Plankton is going to brainwash everybody and how he's kind of trying to come up with a plan for it, which he eventually does in the movie. And it also sets up like this idea of SpongeBob wanting to become manager and proving to Mr. Krabs that he is manager material, but he's not yet a manager. And like Mr. Krabs also, like, maybe he was even more money-hungry originally, to the point that he neglected Pearl's, like, wants- wants? 
and like because of how he acted during this whole time of crisis he kind of complete as a rebound and like goes all the way on the other side to like spoiling the crud out of her throughout the first season the, the series so like it's it's like little details so watch it it's like its own story it's its own plot music is so so good there's best day ever i didn't know this i hated the song when it first came out because i played it on nickelodeon nonstop. but when it plays in the show it just it's so good i cried okay i cried it was so good and then i found out that it was written by andy paley which i didn't know but the fact that it's written by Andy Paley, I watched Thrilling Adventure Hour. I listened to it. It's one of my favorite shows. It's one of my favorite podcasts. And I really love Sparks and Bottom, Marshall on Mars. Like, hey, yo, guys, if you've listened to that show, please hit me up. I love that show. But when I found that out, I was like, are you are you serious? Because the, the orchestra that plays in, in that show, sorry about my cat, is the Andy Paley Orchestra. <laughs> Like, that's just, it's so cool! Like, these little things, they just come together. And it's a show that shouldn't have worked. It shouldn't have. Like, all these random artists and stuff that have different sounds. Like, there's a rap scene, there's there's just like a gospel song, there's a country song. I love Chop to the Top so much. It's so cute. I hate country, but I love Chop to the Top. <laughs> it's so good. I want to learn Plankton's rap. I just at least give it a chance give it a chance watch it if you liked spongebob when you were growing up i think you'll love it because it's a show made of love like every person who is there loves spongebob or they grew up with it it had a huge effect on their childhood like i know that ethan slater um i found i read that he had like a poster and when he found out that he like he's going to be this guy he's going to be spongebob he's, he had like a plushie in his hand and like oh god that's just so cute like ah and he's so small <laughs> in comparison to everybody it's so cute are you serious right now <laughs> all right well because my cat's being loud i'm gonna end this here so thank you for watching thank you for listening i appreciate you swinging by um, uploads are gonna be switched from Monday and Thursday to Friday and Tuesday, so stick around. I'm gonna have something up on Tuesday. You guys got lucky this week. You got three videos.